All right, guys, time for another uh, short VHS uh, update. I know I'm filming. I'm filming this in a in a completely different uh, lo location. Uh, this this is a this is a short VHS update for May nineteenth, two thousand eighteen. My second short update video for this uh, week, and uh, so so today. Uh, Right, right, right before, right before I watched uh, the episode, the uh, the breakup uh, breakdown, which is which is this week's new uh, friendship is magic uh, episode. It was it was pretty good. I liked it. Um, but before I, before that, I quickly ran out to my local Salvation Army uh, thrift store. So this which this is now my my third time going there in the last uh, week. I know, cr crazy. And, uh, I found, uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good tapes that I liked. So, yeah, let's just get right down to it. And, uh, by the way, if you're, if you're wondering what's, uh, playing in the, uh, background here, uh, this is my, uh, VHS of Chiefs, the, uh, the, uh, TV, uh, miniseries, which I got, uh, la uh, last, uh, month. Yeah, I believe I got it. Yeah, I was got this in one of my uh, April 2018 updates. Yeah, this is my VHS of Chiefs, the uh, the the uh, TV miniseries. It's a uh, Star Maker VHS. So yeah, in case you're so in case you're wondering what's playing back there behind me. So um, yeah, so let's take a look at the uh, five tapes I got today. So the first one I got, this one looks ve this one looked very interesting. So I thought I'd get it. This is a VHS from a. Uh, this is an MGM tape, and this this is called Girl Groups: The Story of a Sound. Uh, this is apparently a uh, a um, a a, a documentary on the uh, famous uh, female uh, music groups of the 1960s. Features the Ronettes, the Supremes, and the Shangri Las. Yeah, and it includes a lot. And includes a lot of their uh, their classic songs too. Uh, Come see about me. He's a rebel. Mister Postman. Locomotion. Chapel of Love. Be my baby. Shout. Baby love. My guy and more. Yeah. Again, I, I thought this looked. I thought this one looked very interesting. So and I, and I and I am a fan of uh, old sixties uh, music. So. I I thought I thought I'd get this one. So yeah. Here's the front, the sides, the top and the back. Take a trip back to mashed potatoes, party lights and Dadu Ron Runs. And apparently it's based on a uh, book of the uh, same name by uh Alan Beatrock. Whoever, whoever the heck that is. Yep. The uh, program itself is actually from 1983. And and this is a uh, 1990... But this VHS is from 1990. So I must... So... And it says copyright 1983 MGMUA Home Entertainment Group Incorporated. So this was originally released in 1983 and I'm assuming a uh, big box. But this is a, a 1990 uh, reissue which comes in a... Uh, paper in a cardboard slipcover. Yep. And it's actually in color and black and white. And it's an hour and five minutes. So, yeah. Here's the tape of the vertical sticker label. No print, no print date. But it does have the hologram sticker. So yeah, the next tape I got is another uh, a uh, music uh, tape. Although this one's actually a music uh, movie. This is this is the 1998 VHS of Prince Under the Cherry Moon. So yeah, another yeah another uh, Prince movie from from my collection. This is a uh, and this is a Warner Brothers uh, hits tape. Yep, this is now my uh, third uh, Prince movie that I have on VHS. 
which the other two are uh, Purple Rain and Graffiti Bridge. Yeah, and and since and since you know, and since uh Prince uh unfor and since uh Prince passed away a couple years ago, I I figured I'd uh, get this tape as a little uh basically to uh honor to honor uh pr to honor the to honor him. So so yeah, rest in peace to uh Prince who uh like I said passed away back in uh 2016. Man, man, there were a lot. Man, that was a bad. Man, that was a bad year for Hollywood. Here's the sides, the top, and the back. Yep. And yep the the film itself was originally released in 1986, but this uh, VHS was released in 1998. And yeah, it's actually and the film's actually in black and white. And it's rated uh, PG-13, and it's 100 minutes. And it's got the uh, recycled, the recyclable logo right there. Here's the ink label, and there are two print dates, October 16th and October 26, 1999. So there you go. And next up, this I already have, but my copy. But this, but this is a uh, upgrade from my old copy. My old copy was in was in a pretty uh, was it was in really rough condition. So when I saw this, I had to get. I figured I'd get this for a uh, better copy. And this is the 1998 Warner Brothers Classics VHS of. Dog Day Afternoon, starring Al Pacino. Yeah. The says, The robbery should have taken ten minutes. Four hours later, the bank was like a circus sideshow. Eight hours later, it was the hottest thing on live TV. Twelve hours later, it was all history. And it's all true. So, 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 yeah. And, uh, like I said, I do already have this, but, uh, my... My old, my other copy, which I got back in July of 2016, actually also at my local Salvation Army. I coinc coincidentally enough, uh, my other copy was in a pretty sh shoddy condition. Uh, the uh, spine here was kind of uh, worn. The uh, the top was was a bit uh, sun faded actually, and the uh, the tape itself had a bit of uh, was was kind of had a little uh, mold on it. I mean, it still played. I mean, I think it still played uh, just fine. But yeah, my other copy, uh, it had se it had definitely seen much better days. So when I saw this, like, uh, pretty much, n pretty much uh, good. Uh, this, like, I guess uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't really say mint, but when I saw this much better condition copy, I I just had to get it. So yeah, this will be replacing my. Uh, other copy that, like I said, was uh, pretty worn out. So yeah, and of course this is a this movie is just a classic. This is a very this is a classic classic movie. So yeah, here's the front, here's the sides, the top, and the back. Four stars. Violently funny and wonderfully compassionate, says Kathleen Carroll of New York Daily News. And. Uh, What Dog Day Afternoon is one of the big ones. Swarming with energy, excitement, and drama says Gene Shout of NBC TV. Yep. Special features before the movie. Behind the scenes behind the scenes documentary, Lumit filmmaker, and original theatrical trailer. So yep. And this film was also direct was directed by uh Sidney Lumit, who also which uh, Cindy Lumet also directed another uh, Al Pacino movie before this, which was uh, Sir Pico, which I have that on VHS as well. So, yeah. And uh, the film is from 1975, and this VHS is from 1998, like I said. And, once, and, uh, and this also has that uh, recyclable logo on there. So, there, so yeah.
here's the ink label. Print date is January 11th, 1998. This is, this is also in a... Okay, I don't know what that was, but I'll check on it in a little bit after I'm done with this video. This is also a late, an original uh, 1998 pressing. My other copy was a uh, reprint from 1999. So, yeah. I know, I keep saying so, yeah, a lot in, in, all, in all my videos. What can I say? And then the, net, the last two tapes I got are uh, classic uh, horror movies. This one is a 1989, this next one's a 1989 release by MC Home Video. This is Son of Frankenstein with uh, Basil Rathbone, Boris Karloff, and Bell Lugosi. Now that's a lineup right there. 1939 film renewed in 1966. Yep. And of course this is the uh, sequel to the to the classic original uh, Boris Karloff uh, Frankenstein, which I have on VHS as well in the uh, Universal Classic Monsters collection with the uh, the ones that all have the uh, poster on the front. I I think I think Son of Frankenstein may have also been released in that uh, Universal Classic Monsters uh, collection, but it, which, which if there is, I really want to get that printing, but I since I didn't have this movie yet in my collection, I figured I'd get this uh, just for now, just so I could have the movie in my collection. Plus, it was only 49 cents, so I figured, why not? Yep, and of course, this is, uh, this is another uh, just classic uh, movie. Sides, top, and the back. Yep. Yep, and I already mentioned uh, when the uh, movie was released. Here's the sticker. Here's the sticker label and the end label. And the and this was printed in the twenty first week of nineteen eighty nine. And there is some printings right there, and there's some more. I assume behind the end label. So I think we can all guess what this might have at the end, even though some some uh. Some uh, 1989 MC Home Video tapes with these kinds of printings right there, with these kinds of printings, actually do not, and a week in year code, actually do not have a white screen death at the end. Like my uh, Reap the Wild Wind VHS was printed, that was printed kind of around the same time that this tape does, does n actually does not have a white screen death, despite it having a week in year code and these, these uh, printings. So this one actually still might not have anything at the end, actually. I, of course, will... Uh, We'll check, but yeah. So there you go. And the last VHS I got, this is a uh, video treasures tape from 1989, and this is and this is a and this is a and this was a really cool find. This this is Rodin. Or Rodan, however you say it. As it says, the original creature feature. So, so yeah. So, so yeah, basically, the original, uh, the original, like, Japanese uh, monster movie before, uh, before all the uh, Godzilla movies and whatnot. So, yeah, this was a pretty, so yeah, this was a pretty cool find right here. It's a Vio Treasures tape, like I said. Here's the here's the side, which is unfortunately is is pretty uh, has a uh, crease in it, but that's all right. Here's the other side, which again has a little bit of wear, but that's all right. It's a little dusty on the top, and there's the top. Yeah, the case yeah the case definitely has some wear to it, but no biggie. As long as I have the tape, that's what really matters. So yeah, uh, film is from 19, this is a 1956 movie, yeah, this film is from 1956, and says, copyright 1983, Vestron Incorporated, 
And then it says 99 Veal Treasure. So I'm going to assume, don't quote me on this, but I'm I'm thinking this was originally released on VHS in 1983 by a Vestron. And then Video Treasures re-released re it on VHS in 1989. Either that or it's just a 1956 film renewed in 1983. Yeah, I'm not really so sure. Here's the tape of the sticker label, and look at look at that. The uh, title's kind of sort of typed on the uh, looks like it was typed on a like a like a, like a uh, typewriter or something. Look how look how small the uh, title is on the uh, tape label. See, see that. That's very weird how they uh, printed it like that. <laughs> yeah. No print. Actually. Oh wait. There, actually, there is a print date. At first, I thought there wasn't. But it's in it's in black text. That's why I didn't uh, see it. The print date is April twenty eighth, nineteen ninety. Interesting. And yes, this tape is in a. Uh, LP mode. So there you go. All, all in all, I think, I think I uh, found some, uh, some, some pretty good, uh, Top, top to that uh, Rotom one keeps coming undone for some reason. So yeah, all in all, I'd say pr pretty good. I definitely found some uh, some some pretty good uh, scores. So yeah, got got some pretty good uh, scores. Got some pretty good scores today. Uh, if you, as you saw, if you saw my other update, you know I got that uh, that really cool Hercules box set on a Monday. That was really cool, and the stuff I found on last Saturday was pretty good too. So, so yeah. All right. So that's it. That's it, guys. That's it for this uh, pretty short uh, update. Even though we are at 18 minutes now. Wow. So yeah, and. Uh, Ne next week, uh, stay stay tuned because uh, I'm next week. I'm actually uh, I'm actually going back out towards uh, Pennsylvania, out towards uh, S Scranton, Pennsylvania, to uh, hit s hit some 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 of the uh, thrift stores out there. So yeah, my uh, second time hunting in a uh, in a uh, state other than New York. So um, and it's gonna be a pretty good trip. So expect. Possibly a big up a big update uh, next next weekend. We'll see. So um, hope you like this and thanks for watching.